This video was kindly sponsored by Squarespace. As the year comes to a close, and as I reflect on all of the sketchbooks that we started and finished together, I wanted to start one more sketchbook and welcome in the new year full of new adventures. This video is all about giving thanks to the creative journey this year, and I'll share my inspiration, symbolism, and process to designing the inside cover. With this next new watercolor sketchbook, I aim to focus on some urban sketching and planar painting, capturing each given moment as I love to do, so I was inspired by the concept of following your true path of happiness, and since we're all on our own path and journey, I'm taking time to remind myself how beautiful it is to enjoy this adventure. I like to think of our path unfolding itself just like our artwork does. We start with something so unknown, a blank page, a fresh slate. And the moment we take a step forward, whether it's big or small, is when things begin to happen. Taking that step forward and simply beginning opens opportunities you wouldn't imagine. For this welcoming page of the sketchbook spread, I'm penciling in a loose sketch of a road, which may symbolize the path per se. And you know when you drive on the street, there are bulletin boards and different road signs. Well, I thought that would be perfect to play around with typography as an intro to the art of Jess Carp. If you've watched my videos and seen some sketchbook tours, you may notice little clues around and repetition of things in alteration, but I'm sketching here a little car that's going to be leading us into the sketchbook, and I thought it would be cool to have the exit sign as the date I started and milestone to be when I finish. I penciled in the placement of the spread. It's quite messy and loose, that's okay since I intend to put in all the details with some cross hatching when I begin painting. I really enjoyed the simplicity of color choices in some previous spreads and sketchbooks I've began, and I was leaning towards a bluish greenish palette for this one. I actually took inspiration from one of my urban sketches in a previous sketchbook. Before I show you which one, a quick word about the sponsors of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform I use to display my artwork, from my main portfolio pieces to my sketchbook spreads, or even managing my online shop, Squarespace's award-winning templates helped me create a beautiful and seamless website. And I've been using Squarespace for a few years now, and I'm excited to continue evolving my website in another new year. If you'd like to start growing your online presence, try out Squarespace by going to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash justcarp for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This year, I also learned the importance of reflection. I learned to look back at my sketches, analyze what I liked or disliked about them, and use them to the best possible advantage in my other pieces. Taking inspiration from yourself and the artwork that you've made, whether you did it yesterday, two years ago, or five years ago, can be very beneficial. Here's one of the sketchbooks I filled up this year, and there's one sketch that I was really in love with that I've done in a parking lot. I painted this on location, the dark turquoise greenish shade was actually an accident from my fountain pen mixing two different inks, but I wanted to incorporate those colors in the spread of this sketchbook. I mixed in some viridian, some perlene black, which is a beautiful green shade, and a tiny bit of blue to recreate that. I also decided to do the initial line work with a thin round brush, and since I had a specific intention for this piece, I'm taking my time slow and steady.
path we choose to follow may be unclear, and sometimes the path that we choose to follow is not easy. But having courage and persistence to follow that path is what will set you forward. Some days may be cloudy and some full of sunshine, but when you choose to do what you love, happiness is always there. This year, I continue to learn how much happiness creativity brings me and how much happiness it brings me to share my positivity and creativity with all of you, regardless of the workload, stress, and difficulties. I allow myself to embrace it all and look at the bright side of things. As I'm getting lost in the details and crosshatches of this painting, I'm enjoying adding little symbolism throughout. You may recognize this road sign, and during construction or any road work, it'll say road work ahead, but an idea came to mind to write artwork ahead, and I thought that would be pretty cool to include in the welcoming page of this sketchbook. The exit sign symbolizes the date of which I started, which is December of 2021, and I'm leaving the space blank under milestone to fill in once I finish this sketchbook. the billboard sign, I had fun playing around with some more typography. I've always loved it and although it's a challenge to freehand, I find it great practice and I really enjoy it as well. I painted a sign in a previous sketchbook in October and when I was initially sketching out the idea, I pushed myself to think what would fit best with the concept of a road and a path and we all love those light bulb moments where an idea hits us, so I thought a billboard would be perfect. And in a way, this spread is a way to open up new possibilities, new paths, new adventures, new connections, and in a way, me painting it into existence. This year has been truly incredible. It's the first full year of doing YouTube consistently. Despite the ups and downs, I know I've gained even more experience not only creating, but also handling a hundred other tasks. Growth is still growth despite the size, and I'm so grateful to be growing together. I can't wait to see what the new year has in store. There will be new announcements and changes coming soon. I can't say just yet. I guess you'll have to drive down the road with me to find out. For this next year, I hope you reach your milestone, whatever that may mean to you. We are all on our own path, our own journey, and I believe that as long as we strive to become a better version of ourselves, we're headed in the right direction. May this next year bring you a clear path to your dreams and open up more space for happiness. Adventure awaits. And here's the little finished spread I painted to help welcome new experiences. I'm wishing you a safe and happy holiday season. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so, so much for your support. I'm curious to know your goals for the new year, so leave them in the comments below. I'll also leave some playlists in the description just in case you want to reminisce on the sketchbooks that we've done together this year. So much fun and so much creativity. I can't believe it's the last video for 2021. Stay creative and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.